Welcome to my channel. This is JC uh, Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John, and I have another anniversary album review. It is the uh, 50th anniversary of uh, Who's Next by The Who. But before I begin, if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do rock and metal reviews, rankings, and more. So this is one of those albums I had when I was young. I used to listen to it, um, I guess I was like 9 or 10 years old. I always thought the cover was kind of weird. I mean, like, why are these guys like peeing on these big obelisk and um, you know in my research I did find out that it was kind of like inspired by the uh, movie uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey but back then I didn't know that but this is a very like solid album I mean all the songs are classics and it basically plays like a greatest hits album so this is album number five for The Who it was actually intended to be another like rock opera that was a follow-up to uh, Tommy from 1969 now, The Who had intended it to call it um, Lifehouse, and that was meant to be like this like science fiction uh, rock opera, and that's actually like a whole other story. I could probably do a complete other video on that topic, but they ended up like scrapping the idea, and they created this album. They wanted like more of like a rock album, and this was released on August 14th, 1971. So this album features the classic lineup of The Who. It has uh, Roger Daltrey on vocals, John Entwistle on bass, and he also does some vocals and he plays piano on a song about my wife. It has Keith Moon, uh, we all know uh, he had a drinking problem and he died in 1978, but he's on drums. And Pete Townsend, and he actually does a lot in this album. He plays guitar, plays the organ, plays the synthesizer. And he does some backing vocals, he does some lead vocals. And he also plays the piano on Baba O'Reilly. And this album was a really big hit. It reached number one on the UK charts and number four on the US Billboard uh, 200. Or it has also been listed on many of those like greatest uh, album lists such as 500 Albums of All Time by Rolling Stone and they ranked it at both 28 and 77 on different occasions. And it's just one of those albums that is just an essential uh, rock album for just any fan. So the first song is called Bob O'Reilly. Um, it has Roger Daltrey singing the verses and Pete Townsend sings like a small part in a bridge. I always thought the song was called Teenage Wasteland and I think like a lot of people did as well. And what stands out about this song is the use of the keyboards and synthesizers in the beginning. It wasn't something that we heard a lot about like with The Who. Now apart from the progressive rock nature of the song, it's a hard rocker. It has lots of like guitar parts and this is one of like the most iconic um, songs. It has a guitar solo that's really great and also has like this cool like violin solo at the end of it. Second song is called Bargain. This was sung by uh, Roger Daltrey and, and uh, Pete Townsend sings the bridge and just a straightforward uh, rock song. I really like the line when he sings like, I gladly lose me to find you. That's a really great line. And the part uh, where uh, Pete Townsend sings is really cool and he also sings the line, um, one and one don't make two, one and one make one. I, I thought that's another like great line and Pretty cool song. I like how it goes into kind of like a psychedelic rock territory, like towards like the end after the bridge. That's really cool. Next is Loving for Keeping, and this is a short song. It's like two minutes and ten seconds. It has Roger Daltrey on lead vocals, and it's kind of like a different type of sound. It has almost that like southern rock feel, something like um, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, but it is a really cool song. Next is My Wife, and this was written by John Entwistle, and he sings the vocals in this one. And it's about a man who went out and got drunk and he was away for like maybe a couple days. Like he was arrested and locked up in like the drunk tank. That's like the cell where they put like drunk people. And during that whole time like he's afraid his wife is going to think he was like with another woman. And he's just like thinking of all these things he has to do and how he's going to explain himself and what's going to happen when he shows up at his house. So pretty cool song topic. Um... John Entwistle pretty much like owns the entire song. He does lead vocals, he plays the bass, he plays the piano, he does the horn section. This song also doesn't have a guitar solo and that's due to the fact that, you know, John Entwistle was a bassist and... But anyway, this is another good one. The last song on side one of the record is The Song Is Over. This one has Pete Townsend singing the verses and Roger Daltrey singing the chorus. It's a slow piano ballad. It has a nice change of pace from like the harder rocking songs on like the first side of the album. The song does pick up the pace as it progresses and has a pretty cool uh, guitar leads and guitar solos on the song. On the second side of the record, we have Getting In Tune. This is sung by Roger Daltrey on lead vocals. 
This is another laid back song, has piano in the intro, kind of picks up as it moves along and it's just a straightforward rock song and another good one. Next is Going Mobile. This is a very fun rock track. It has Pete Townsend on lead vocals. This one has some pretty cool like acoustic rock riffs mixed with some melodic parts and keyboards and I really like the psychedelic rock vibe at the end of this song. One of my favorite songs is called uh, Behind Blue Eyes and this is one of the most iconic songs on the album. Roger Daltrey on uh, vocals and it's really great. It's been covered many times. I think one of the most recent covers that I've been listening to is by the band Limp Bizkit and I know people probably hate that cover but I think it's pretty cool even though it does kind of get cheesy towards the middle. But it has some really great lyrics. Um, a lot of those lyrics have stuck with me over the years like that one line, if I swallow anything evil, stick your finger down my throat. That's a really awesome line. And there's so many other like great lines. It's just like a great ballad. It's just almost like a power ballad. You know, I think it's kind of been like inspired uh, by many other artists. And the final track is called Won't Get Fooled Again. And this is another classic. It's the album Closer. It's a long song, eight minutes and 32 seconds. It has Roger Daltrey on lead vocals. And this is one of the more like harder rocking songs. This is one of those songs that starts out with a keyboard intro, but has a lot, a lot of uh, hard rocking guitar parts as well. There's a really cool like extended like keyboard part with like some drum solos and it goes into like the last part with the last line and um, meet the new boss same as the old boss. That's a really awesome line to just and it's actually like just the line that ends out the song. So this is really great and in conclusion this is a classic album. It's iconic and I don't really need to give it a rating. It's a 10 out of 10 album. It's just such an awesome one. They have different like rem remasters that have come out over the years. One came out in 1995 with a lot of extra tracks and there was a deluxe edition in 2003 and then again there was a lot of extra tracks so there are like more songs like from this album that were like uh, not included in the original release. Now I don't think there's going to be a 50th anniversary edition. Um, I mean they probably should have. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have bought it but I don't think there is. If you do know of one let me know in the comments. But um, that's it. I'm going to end here. And um, so that's it. Uh, next week I will be doing some uh, more stuff. Actually tomorrow I have a video with uh, Brian. We're doing our top 10 songs uh, by Styx. After that next week some more Iron Maiden and some more other stuff. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the other videos I put over here. There's a more classic rock. And um, see you next time.